When it comes to brush, nothing has proven more troublesome to landowners than mesquite. This plant infests about 51 million acres of Texas. Mesquite can withstand fire, drought, mowing, freezing, and insects. I'm Dr. Alan McGinty, Rain Specialist with the Texas Agricultural Extension Service, and this is Dr. Daryl Eckert, Research Scientist with the Texas Agricultural Experiment Station. We want to take this opportunity to discuss with you a program called Brush Busters, a brush control approach that is tailored for easy, do-it-yourself application by individual landowners. Our methods provide landowners with selective, environmentally friendly, and cost-effective ways to kill mesquite before they're so large and dense that the expensive, high-impact broadcast methods are necessary. Added benefits are that no special training or license are required. The techniques we're about to demonstrate allow an individual to use readily available equipment and herbicides to obtain higher root kills than we normally achieve with commercial broadcast applications. The first step in any brush buster program is for the landowner to select one of our two basic application methods that best fits his type of mesquite. This is an example of a mesquite type that's easily controlled with the stem spray method. As you notice, the plant is smooth barked and only has two basal stems. This type of plant is easily controlled any time of the year with a 15% concentration of remedy. Remember that if you're treating mesquite that has rough bark or has trunk diameters that exceed an inch and a half, you need to increase the concentration of remedy to 25%. The equipment required for the stem spray method is very simple. You can use a small garden pump up sprayer like this that will cost you $25 to $35 or you might want to get you a backpack sprayer like this. They run $80 to $100. There are only two other items that you need to purchase to turn your sprayer into an effective stem sprayer. One is, in a, is a very small orifice cone nozzle like we have right here. The second is a combination screen and check valve that goes right behind the nozzle. One final suggestion, you'll, find, you'll probably find it worthwhile to purchase an aftermarket padded harness like this. They'll run you about $35, but will greatly increase the ease of using this type of equipment. When using the stem spray method, it's important to adjust your nozzle to deliver a coarse mist in a narrow cone. You lightly wet the trunk of the mesquite from ground line to a height of 12 to 16 inches, making sure that you wet the trunk on all sides. Mixing for the stem spray method is both easy and safe. There are only two components that go into the spray mix. One is just normal diesel fuel oil. The second one is the herbicide remedy. The only decision that you have to make when using the stem spray method is what concentration of remedy to mix with diesel. If you're treating smooth bark mesquite that's less than one and a half inches in diameter, we recommend a 15% concentration. If you're treating rough bark mesquite that is larger than one and a half inches in diameter, we recommend the concentration be increased to 25%. Although the herbicide remedy is very safe to use, the label requires that you utilize safety glasses and rubber gloves when mixing. To accurately mix the desired concentration of remedy, we recommend that you pre-measure your herbicide, pour it into an empty container, and then bring up to volume with diesel. The mixture is now ready to be poured into the sprayer. When using the stem spray method, keep these points in mind. Stem sprays can be used any time of the year, although growing season applications are best. Always follow herbicide label directions, Remember that the cost of treatment escalates rapidly as density of brush increases or number of basal stems per plant increases. Multiple stem plants or rough bark plants are much more difficult to control with this method. Don't spray when basal stems are wet and remember that dense grass around basal stems reduces the efficiency of this method.
This is the type of mesquite that's much better suited for the leaf spray method than for the stem spray method because as you can see, it has a multitude of basal stems. The leaf spray method can be used on about any type of mesquite. This multiple stem plant here would be well suited for leaf sprays. On the other hand, it would not be ideal for you trying to use the stem spray. The only limitation to the leaf spray method is the height of the plant. The large mesquite behind me would be too large to try to hand spray. Leaf sprays can be applied with a variety of equipment. The simplest equipment is a hand pressurized garden sprayer. For larger acreages, the backpack sprayer works very well. Or you can use an all-terrain vehicle equipped with a tank and an, and an electric pump. Regardless of the type of sprayer you use, we recommend an adjustable cone nozzle with a medium-sized orifice to deliver a coarse spray such as an X6 or an X8. With the leaf spray method, you spray the foliage lightly until the, the leaves glisten, but not excessively to the point of runoff. However, it is very critical to spray all parts of the plant so that all the leaves have a few droplets of the herbicide. For leaf spraying, we recommend a combination of two herbicides, Remedy and Reclaim. And each of these is added at a concentration of one half of one percent of the total spray mixture. When using leaf sprays, it's very important to add diesel fuel to the mixture at a concentration of five percent, along with an emulsifier to make the oil and water mix. An alternative to the diesel fuel and emulsifier is to simply to add a surfactant at one quarter to one half percent of the total spray mixture. As with the stem spray method, in order to mix the desired concentrations of Reclaim, Remedy, and the diesel fuel or the surfactant, we pre-measure each of the ingredients and then add them to a spray tank half filled with water. A final ingredient that we add to the leaf spray mixture is highlight blue dye. This is added at one-fourth to one-half ounce per gallon of the total spray mixture. The blue dye helps you avoid missing a mesquite plant or spraying the same plant twice. After all the ingredients have been added to the spray tank that was half filled with water, then we bring it up to the total volume with water under pressure. This agitates the, the mixture, and that's especially critical if you've used diesel fuel. When using the Brush Buster's leaf spray method, remember that the time to begin spraying is in the spring after the soil temperature at a one foot depth has reached 75 degrees. The spray period will last through September. When using the leaf spray method, keep these points in mind. Follow the herbicide label directions. For best results, don't spray when rains have stimulated light green new growth up in the treetops. Don't spray with, if the mesquite leaves are wet. Don't spray if the mesquite leaves show damage due to hail, insects, or disease. And don't spray if you're working immediately upwind of desirable trees, shrubs, or crops. Also remember that your cost of treatment increases rapidly as the density and size of the brush increases. Controlling mesquite is not a one-time job. You'll need to go over your land now and then to get rid of unwanted mesquite sprouts. Remember, the brush busters methods can be used by anyone, regardless of your past experience with brush control or the size of your property. They allow you to sculpt the landscape to satisfy your goals for wildlife, livestock, or aesthetics. Best of all, proper use of these methods greatly reduces the amount of herbicide released in, into the environment and the unnecessary effects on desirable plants. To help you get started with your brush buster program, we'll develop this leaflet, How to Beat Mesquite. 
And the leaflet outlines a simple three-step approach for both the stem and the leaf spray methods. These leaflets are available from your local county extension agent. Now, if you follow our simple instructions, we're confident that you'll have success using brush buster techniques for controlling mesquite. Darrell, let's crank this deal up and go spray some more mesquite. I'm ready. <laughs> 